For some people, luck occurs by chance, while it is on purpose for others. And by planned luck, we mean the ability to change your luck and put yourself in a position to succeed. Changing the path of nature sounds like a rare chance, but today, we'll show you the way. I bet you're curious about how to hack your way to luck. So let's jump in and check out the 15 ways to get lucky. Hello and welcome to Luxio. Before we begin, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on more of our incredible videos. Number 1. Having faith in yourself. How can you expect luck to find you if you don't think you're deserving? Since you firmly believe you are qualified for it, having confidence in yourself is a surefire way to attract luck. It's also fantastic to build your self-esteem and confidence. Number 2. Assume you are ignorant of all things. Maybe you're thinking, why should I appear as though I know nothing? Wouldn't it make me a complete moron? I guess not really. One of the most acceptable methods to learn new information is to believe that you know nothing. Putting yourself in this situation increases your receptivity to new concepts. We must stick to strong ideals and profound beliefs since we are human. However, since we are habitual beings, it wouldn't harm to alter our philosophical views as necessary. Who knows, presuming you don't know anything, being open to new ideas might be the key to your success. Not only does it make you pick up further information rapidly, but it can also prompt you to look at what you already know in new ways. Once more, you simply can't predict what you might learn and what it might entail for your life and work. Number 3. Make new connections. Knowing the proper people might sometimes be the key to luck. Even if you have the best abilities, they are useless if you don't know the appropriate people. Therefore, making new friends who can introduce you to better chances is vital. Always interact with people who are more intelligent, wealthier, more skilled, or further along in their career than you are. This presents you with a fantastic learning experience and a once-in-a-lifetime chance to meet people living the life you want to live. Indeed, some may even describe such friendship as lucky, which is a beautiful way to increase your luck. Number 4. Never give up on your efforts. It's acceptable to go back and figure out why you aren't having any luck. However, going backward doesn't imply you should stop working hard because even a slight hiccup in this transmission could lose you a chance to strike it lucky. Instead, lessen your effort while never ceasing to do any. This keeps you engaged in the game even if you aren't using all of your skills. Number 5. Understand what it means to have intentional luck. It makes no sense to try to attain anything if we don't even know what it means. Therefore, before we position ourselves in strategic ways to be lucky, we must first understand what intended luck is. According to leadership coach Stephanie Pollock, luck is the residue of design meaning that hard work must have been put in at some point for luck to occur. And although we continue to think that luck is primarily the result of chance, there is one aspect of Stephanie's definition that we agree with. Sometimes, luck needs a little bit of design. Simply exposing yourself to opportunities and positioning yourself in a way that makes your brilliant abilities and talents obvious will allow creating your luck. You have a better chance of becoming fortunate if you're in a position to be found. Number 6. Keep an eye out for opportunities. You should always look for possibilities in the field if your job requires you to be out there. How can you hope to strike it lucky if you are unaware of the opportunities? If you remain in your home, hiding in your bedroom, you won't discover an opportunity. Opportunities don't knock on your door, as you are already aware, so what you should do next if you want to be lucky? Number 7. Make use of affirmations. Affirmations are beneficial. Affirmations include repeatedly telling yourself something to start believing it to be true. If you told yourself you were gorgeous every morning, you would board the bus to work thinking you were the most attractive person there after a while. Yes, affirmations can help you with that. It also teaches you how to deceive your mind into thinking whatever you want it to, which, as you might expect, significantly impacts your self-confidence. You may keep telling yourself how lucky you want to be through affirmations. 
It's more likely to occur if you have more faith in your luck. Number 8. Take a fresh approach. You know, perspectives shouldn't be so fixed anyway because they can change. Although your current method of operation works, it might be wiser to adopt a different strategy. You can view things from many angles by trying a new strategy. Also, remember that you might need to step outside of your comfort zone to do this. Why not try a new strategy as it sounds thrilling and unique? Number 9. Pay attention to your inner voice. Some people refer to it as instinct, intuition, or gut feeling, while others refer to it as their inner voice. We may disagree on the name for it, but there is a voice inside our minds that is more often than not an agent of wisdom. This voice usually has a point, whether you want to admit it. There is no accurate way to describe the voice, other than to suggest that it is our body's way of protecting us or acting in our best interests. Number 10. Accept as many opportunities as you can. We frequently undervalue the value of saying no, which can prevent you from losing your self-respect and being taken for granted by others. Despite how rigid this rule is, there are times when we can make an exception. It won't hurt to say yes to as many opportunities as possible if you're still in the early stages of your profession. Why is that significant now? First, it displays you are a committed and passionate person and demonstrates your willingness to learn regardless of the circumstances. Naturally, this would raise the desire of your coworkers, employers, and even friends to work with you or be associated with you, increasing your chances of securing a career-changing opportunity. And that is you being fortunate as you have probably already figured. Number 11. Surround yourself with optimistic people. Is it possible to exaggerate the importance of being surrounded by positive individuals? Absolutely not. Positivity and good fortune most likely share a parent. Additionally, there's a considerable probability that luck will come around if you exude this much positivity. Being around optimistic individuals can make you start to believe that you can genuinely become lucky, which will be even more beneficial. If you believe it, act on it. It won't be long before it manifests in your life. Number 12. Luck comes to those who think positively. You've probably heard the phrases, think positive thoughts, or your ideas become your reality. When you repeatedly picture yourself succeeding, you begin to believe it and eventually comes true. It's only a matter of time before you experience bad luck if you consistently believe negative ideas. It should be no surprise that you draw in what you put out. Spending a lot of time being resentful and hostile will just cause you to attract more of the same. But in a similar spirit, thinking positively brings better luck. You should give this a shot, but be aware that there will undoubtedly be obstacles in your way. It takes practice and a lot of intentional effort to remain cheerful in the face of things like someone offending you or a poor day at work. Number 13. Work on your skills. Your skills help you stand out. And who is fortunate when the opportunity arises? The one who is well-prepared and noticeable. Does having skills put you in a position where more opportunities are provided because of your skill level? Additionally, it gives you the chance to request a wage increase. It opens the door to opportunities for growth and appreciation. Number 14. Constantly share your goals. You see, talking about your goals make them more likely to materialize. This has two distinct meanings for you. First, it makes you the first person that any of your friends think of when they come across an opportunity that fits you. And second, it makes you feel like you have a certain amount of responsibility on your shoulders because now that everyone is aware of it, you have a lot more to prove. You exert more effort because you don't want to disappoint many people or feel like a failure. Keep going. Your friends' faith in you is about to bring you good fortune. Number 15. Recognize that everyone has something to teach you. Have you ever met someone and wondered whether spending time with them would be wasted? If you have, you may want to reevaluate your position. 
The truth is, there is always something to learn from people, no matter how awful you think they are. This principle holds whether the lesson learned is favorable or harmful. You can always learn something new with every person you meet and encounter. You are more likely to be kind and patient with someone you meet for the first time if they have this perspective. Now, because of this, they are typically simple to work with. And even if the relationship doesn't result in anything fruitful, you still have a lesson to learn from it. So that concludes our list today. Remember, you must be aware that apparent changes take time to appear, but with a bit of patience, your luck will go a long way. Have you ever noticed how luck comes into your life? Which steps did you make to position yourself to be lucky? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thank you for supporting us. If you enjoy seeing videos like this, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring and valuable content. We'll see you in the next video.